guys, welcome to Roto Riot. Today, we're talking about perching. Guys, what's, what is perching? Perching is basically landing on like really a hard obstacle. So we'll take like a lamppost and land on top of that. I think the first perch I ever saw was, I remember Mr. Steel landing on top of an ice cream truck. And I always thought that was really cool because he, he was like, like riding right around. Right. Yeah, that so. might have been the first one I saw. That was probably a pretty early on like perch, but it wasn't really called perch. Was it Gap It? Did Gap It call it the perch? Do you know? I think so. I think he was really the first one to like popularize the whole like, uh, landing on top of something small. Right, yeah, he started doing up. the small things, right? Mm -hmm. Anything that's like as small as your quad. I feel like the perch is the found, like one of the first contact tricks that you'll learn, right? So there's all these like air tricks, and then you start seeing that you can skid, and you can wall perch, wall tap, and grind, and all that stuff, and like, perching is probably like one of the like foundations of like, interacting with your environment like in a contact way, right? When you're starting out with perch, uh, it may sound a little silly, but I think the first thing that you want to learn how to do is just land softly. Just be able to come down and disarm without it bouncing all over the place or dropping three feet out of the air and flipping over. Like when I come in for a landing, I usually come in like all crazy and I just like drop it, right? But that's not going to work because you're trying to land on something with limited surface area. So what you want to be able to do is just kind of come in and just rest it. And then, you know, little movements, keep doing that kind of thing. Once you get comfortable with that, then you can move on to an obstacle that maybe has a little bit more surface area. So like a picnic table. Over here we've got this ledge, you know, and what's nice about this is it has one short dimension and one real long dimension. So if you want to start out by just kind of going long ways, kind of work on your side to side placement uh, and being able to land side to side and then work on your, your front to back by uh, just turning 90 degrees. So now we've got a short front to back kind of surface, something you'd have on like a light post, something like that. And just disarm it. And we're just working our way up. We're trying to make the surface get smaller and smaller until you know you've worked to something like the size of the drone itself. So now we're gonna go to this light post that we've been working with today. Pretty much like quad sized. So there's no room for error. If you miss it, you're just gonna fall off the side of it. Like that. Clearly I was demonstrating, you know, uh, when you miss it, what's gonna happen. So, <laughs> so one thing that helps when you're doing something tall like this, like a post, is starting coming from underneath it and you can kind of spot it better because your camera is angled up. And you don't want to go too high above it because then you lose sight of it. Like if I come up here, there's no reference for like where I'm at. And it's kind of just a guessing game on, on where you're going to drop it. So if you come under, and there you go, you got your perch. You can disarm completely. If uh, you've got air mode turned off, you could just try to rest it. Take a breather. Um, take a break. A lot of the time, like when I fly, I get like super shaky. And so, you know, I can take a rest, take a drink of water, kind of like get my nerves back. And the quad is just, you know, it's safe up there. Uh, I've got a Vista, so I probably don't want to leave it and let it overheat and have no video. But, you know, you can take off, take a small break. So the term air mode gets thrown around a lot. And it it can kind of mean different things, but in beta flight, it's a way that the PIDs and mostly the eye is uh, boosted during low throttle. Even when you're doing low throttle maneuvers like a hang time, it keeps you more stable, right? So without air mode and you're flying beta flight, you might find that when you go into like this hang time, it kind of like wobbles a little bit and air mode will keep you locked in. It's a really nice thing that improves the way the quad feels and how locked in it is when you're doing kind of low throttle things. The problem is uh, if you're intentionally inducing an outside force, whether it's like a landing for a perch or a skid or a grind or something, the quad's gonna react very aggressively to that input. As it should. But if you don't want it to, like if you want to be doing like a smooth skid or something without it like bouncing and trying to compensate for the fact that like there's something touching your drone, if you put air mode on a switch, you can stop that from happening. So you can intentionally let the PID controller reduce when you're at low throttle and doing those types of skids and landings and things like that. I will say I don't turn it off when I perch. Well, because you disarm. I just set it, yeah. Well, I get as close too. as I, I would just disarm. disarm. That's what I would do too. I don't, yeah, so yeah. I don't need the crutch of no air mode, just do it.
we were talking about this perch I've never tried before, but there's a style of perch where you do not disarm and you just try to rest it on top of something that you wouldn't normally be able to land on. So like uh, the ball at the top of a flagpole or something. Uh, we've got these posts over here with a round topper. So I'm gonna try to like rest it on top. There's enough throttle to like level it, but that I can kind of like take it easy. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> It'd be cool to like rest and then do a little yaw spin. That'd be like a nataz, a nataz spin for my skateboard fellows. It almost sounds like not a spin. Not us. Not us spin is a skateboard maneuver pioneered by not us, cop us. Am I saying this right? That's some heavy emphasis. But basically on a skateboard you'd like pop up onto an object like a fire hydrant and like spin around on it with like your board centered on the fire hydrant. It's like it's, pre it's pretty sweet. So I'm going to try and copy that but do it with my drone. Ooh, this is really not easy, huh? Ah! That was pretty good. That, that was, that was, that was a 180. I'm taking a 180, dude. I'm taking a 180. I'm taking a 180. If you guys, if anyone could pull off a 360, tag me, hashtag Natas drone spin, I don't know, whatever, post on Instagram. I would love to see someone like one up that because that it's gonna edit down. <laughs> but it took a lot of tries. PWX's best perch ever. <laughs> you didn't see it? No. Dude, wait, you really didn't see this? Uh, I need to watch it, what is, is it? Is this on YouTube? All right, everyone come over. <laughs> Gather around. Story time. Okay, now watch, now watch. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> we nice. can do it again, there's, there's one over here. Nice. It's pretty good too. It's well, big. I want to see you do your power lip perch. Oh, you want I want to see, see that too, perch. yeah, I want to see that too. Can you do try it again. It. We try it. I want to see I'm his power loop perch, I want to see your split S perch. So the split S is what I did to learn the power loop uh -huh. because I, I wanted to learn the whole setting down because the setting down is the hardest part doing it like smooth enough to not just like yeah jump off and, and you got to like figure out where the bottom is so like sometimes you'll come way too high and you'll start to like catch yourself and right. you'll be like way above it so you got to like figure out where that position is to set it down yeah and then you move into the the power loop. Let's see this this approach to your uh, your little fancy power oh, that's loop. That's fun. That's fun. Right, right. You get a oh, bro! If he oh, does this, okay. that's gonna be okay. sick. Okay. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. <laughs> so the trick is like you can't. It's not like a loop loop. It's kind of like you're you're powering up and then flipping over. Gotcha. So kind of like a throwback trick. Well, because you want like Whoop. upward momentum so that you can kind of like right. rest it on it. Yeah. Oh, oh, I was so close. I, and, then, and then you just, you know, try a dozen more times and then you'll get it. You got it, got it. This is like one of those things that I'll see and I'm like, I'm not even going to try it because I don't think I can do it. It just like, seems like one of those stupid, insane tricks. Did you get it yet? Oh, he's still going for the loop. This is what happens. This is what happens. <laughs> I've hit it multiple times, but I just right, keep just bouncing off. Three more tries. Yeah, I just have my headphones on right now. I'm just like trying to shut 
anything else out. So you're just I, grinding that one trick. That's that's how that's all I've been doing for the past like three batteries. I got to get it now. It's like, is this I, usually your style is like to like go at the trick until you get it, like just pack, 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 pack. Or honestly, this is a different type of trick for me because usually if it's a trick, I'm trying to get it in a line. Yeah. Like for like a flight video, but this is like just one off trick that I want to really get. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, you're still up there? Yeah. You're still up there? Let's go. Was it the power loop? Yeah, it's the power loop. Oh, let me watch this DVR back. Wait, no, no, no. I got to pick it down. No, <laughs> no dude. No, I'm just going to watch this DVR back. Do not delete that DVR. Hold on. I just want to watch my, it. Drew. I want to watch it. I want to watch it. Let me get my I'm moment. Drew. Ooh. Yes! Yes! Oh, that's, that's pretty good. So yeah, good. That's pretty good. That is so. Let's go. That is so good. That's